Hi, this is Amr. I'm a AoE2 player and I also happen to be a web developer. This is a companion video to the tutorial to the AoE2 random Civ draft app, which is a front end that I wrote using this back end here. Um, and so this is the back end, the AoE2 data API. Uh, it is um, not just for my front end app, but I'm hoping that other people will find use for it. It does not replace any of the stats information that uh, people are used to uh, having access to. It is mostly just an API of the tech tree uh, and the game items. So it's still a work in progress, but uh, it's uh, got quite a bit of data in there already. So I wanted to showcase that in case you're looking to make your own apps uh, and you wanted some uh, data about the game. So it's a REST API. There's only get endpoints right now. If you ever want to just poke around at the API, you can always go to the URL, um, HTTPS AOE2 data API dot Heroku app dot com slash docs. Um, and I'll probably uh, eventually buy a domain or something and, and update that. But uh, that's the current URL. And um, yeah, so the main routes that it has are for sieves, buildings, units, text, ages, and versions. Um, and there's uh, um, some uh, types that you can look at here if you kind of want to see what, what it's working with uh, data structure wise under the hood. So let's just look at a simple one by now. We've got get sieves by name. So we can try it out. Let's say Aztecs. We want to get the Aztecs. And uh, we do not want to include units, text, and buildings for right now. We just want the sieve. So sieve name not found. My bad. It's because it's case sensitive. <laughs> I should probably uh, update that. But yeah, so Aztecs with a capital A. Bam, we get Aztecs, which is just the sieve name and the ID. Uh, so let's actually include some data here. Let's say include units, text, and buildings true the API so great so now we have the Aztecs and we have all the units that Aztecs can make all the text that Aztecs can research and all the buildings that they can build here so that's um, that's it for the sieve and uh, you can let's see we've got the ID 1363 so of course we can do get sieves by ID and that should give us the Aztecs, and bam, there it is. Same options, include text units and buildings. Um, and then you can get the list of all the sieves. If you just need the sieve names, this is just a list of all the sieve names. Um, and then, of course, you can include the units, text, and buildings, and just get the whole, the whole tech tree for the whole game all at once. Um, I'm not going to do that. It takes like a minute. Well, not that long, but uh, it takes like 30 seconds and slow down the video. So similarly with buildings, units, and text, we can get a building, uh, or we can get all the buildings. These are all the buildings in the, in the game. We can include what age they're in. So we get the building and what age it's in. So barracks is in dark age, docks in dark age, siege workshops in castle age, etc. Um, yeah, you can also include what sieves that building has. Let's do that. Uh, like, let's say get buildings by name. Let's say, uh, uh, let's say Don John. So we execute. So let's include the age. Let's include everything. Civs, units, text, because this doesn't have a lot. So Dungeon is a feudal age building. The civs that can build it are the Sicilians. Um, it can produce the unit and uh, it can produce the sergeant and the elite sergeant and it has no text available. Now you can kind of see that this return response it only has the f like uh, first layer of data for all of the sub items so for example like you'll get the sieve name sicilians but you won't get uh, all the other things that you can get with the sicilian sieve like it doesn't show you what unit other unisex and buildings are on the sicilians if you would want if you want that you'd want to use the get sieves api and then same with the units like it'll give you the sergeants and the elite sergeant but it won't give you any further data on the on those units but you can, of course, then go to the unit uh, routes and then and then uh, get that data. So let's say we're looking for the archer. 
Uh, let's include everything, age, civs, buildings. So this is uh, what we can get. We get archer. It's uh, in the feudal age. Uh, these are all the sieves that can make the archer, which is all the sieves, so everyone can make it. <laughs> this is a long list. And then you can see what buildings it comes from, which is the archery range. Some units have multiple buildings, um, either because they come from, like, the, the dock, for example, and the harbor, or uh, they come from the castle and another building, like uh, the sergeants come from castle and dungeon, or huskarls, for example, come from castle and barracks. Tarkins are similar come from castle and stables so sometimes you'll get a list here but usually it's just one building and then yeah you can do that by name um you can do it excuse me by uh, id and you can get the ids of course by just getting the full list so let's get the full list of units and then we could say okay let's get uh some information about any one of these uh let's say the cavalry archer ID is 1013, and uh, let's put it in here. Cavalry Archer, great, and then we can include the age, the sieves, and the buildings. So Cavalry Archer, Castle Age, these are the sieves that can make it, which is quite a few actually, and then uh, the buildings it comes from. So that's kind of how that works. Text works exactly how you'd expect, similarly to units and buildings. Um, let's do a little Let's just do one. <clears throat> so let's say uh, forging. I think everybody gets forging. But yeah, you can include the age, the sieves, and the buildings. So forging, feudal age tech, all the sieves have it, and then it comes from, or you can research it at the blacksmith. <clears throat> so yeah, that's kind of how it works. Uh, and then ages, uh, you can get all the ages. Dark Age, Feudal Age, Castle Age, Imperial Age, and then you can include the units that are available in that age, the text, and the buildings that are available in that age, which is kind of nice. So if you just want to know, like, okay, what's, uh, what are all the Dark Age, like, units, texts, and buildings that are available? You can see that. So Dark Age, here are the units available, fishing ship, militia, villager, transport ship, you can research Loom and Feudal Age and Dark Age, and these are the buildings that you can build. So <clears throat> that's how the, uh, the Ages works. And then Versions is very simple. It just has a single endpoint, Get Versions, which will give you the game version and the API version, which is currently just 1.0. And the game version is 66692, so you'll know what game version is connect, uh, this data is coming from. And I currently use the AOE2 Tech Tree project um, for getting the data for this API. So thank you to Synergy Engineers and the AOE2 Tech Tree project. It's a huge help. And um, so when the game version gets dropped, whenever the new game version gets dropped, as soon as AOE2 Tech Tree project is updated, I can run my scripts and update my database. So there will be a slight delay between when the game version is updated and when this API gets updated, but it should be very slight, um, like a day uh, is what I'm looking at right now. And then ideally, you know, less than a week in general should be totally fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the API. I would like to add more information. Like you can probably tell that uh, it doesn't have that much information right now about each item. So it has like a lot of tech tree information, for example. But it doesn't have like stats so it doesn't say like the cost or the hp or the training time or the range or anything like that so i'd like to add that soon um so that uh, it can be more useful but uh that's that's what it is for now uh, i'm open to feedback of course um leave a comment or find me on like discord uh, i go by debridja basically everywhere d-e-b-r-i-j-j-a and um i think uh that's it i hope uh people find this useful and uh yeah that's uh thanks for thanks for watching this video